all right hello guys hello guys welcome back to the channel this is Akimbola speaking in today's video we're going to be talking about registration of your business name with the corporate affairs commission i've seen so many videos people talking about the fact that they've been able to register they've been under 30 minutes under two hours under three hours in this particular video we're going to be starting a timer and that timer is going to read from one second to the number of minutes or hours is going to take us to register this particular business so i want to watch this video from beginning to the end apart from the fact that it will be a proper guide to walk you through business name registration it will also be a way of getting you to understand the f different challenges you might face and how long it will take you to carry out your business name registration if we see after time after the video then i'll be walking you through the different things that have changed so that you will not change on the portal right so that you will not you know be looking for something that is not missing and you know how to get your way around the portal i made several videos in the past go and watch those videos and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you watch you'll be able to see other videos i'm making later on give this video a thumbs up if it's something you are interested in without any further ado let's go into the video so the first thing i'll be doing is let's go back to the dashboard this is how the dashboard looks like so on this dashboard i'm going to be putting in the name i want to reserve and then i will start before that let's start the timer one two ready go all right so we're going back what we need to do is click on name reservation the first thing to do is to carry out a name reservation we're doing for a business name a sole proprietor click on continue and then i've copied the name already um this is the name it's telling me invalid symbol are not allowed only letters there's no invalid symbol here so let's retype tell me that your staple food depot Temi Dayo Staple Food Depot. Okay. So that means the copying was not properly done, right? So um, this this business is into let's use others because right now one of the issues I've also noticed is that you cannot select a lot of other options. So let's check for the availability of this name. Sorry, Temi Dayo Staple, it did not pass the compliance check. Proposed name does not include any business name qualifier. Please add qualifier to improve chance of approval. So fashion, tailoring, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's update the business name very quickly. Um, let's say food stores. Let's try again. Check the availability for that. So this food store goes. And the only issue I'm having with this particular process is that, you know, I'm just making this change on the go. But I needed to confirm with the client, right? And I cannot confirm with the client as it stands right now so all i need to do is to just continue the registration right so i would continue the registration and get back to the client because we need this name to be done desperately right so i click on continue to make payment i will not be talking too much so that we can be able to see the exact amount of time it will take for us to do this so i'm going to pay on remitter very quickly okay i will not use the transfer method and this was where i stopped the video yesterday the reason was because it was taking longer for the payment to process so i don't know if the issue is going to be different today right so but we are going to pause the video but the timer will still keep reading i don't want this video to be too long the timer will keep reading let's go so i've been able to go through this and i've been able to um, make i'm making payment right now okay payment is made it's processing the payment all right okay we're just four minutes almost four minutes down please note that you will not be allowed to make modification after payment has been made okay so it's verifying my payment right now you can see the error i'm getting fail to check Check your internet, blah, blah, contact support for assistant, unable to verify my payment. You see one of the issues that this new portal is giving us? So if there's something that CSC has taught me, is patience when making payment. When you make payment as not verifying in time, you just need to be patient as much as possible for the payment to go through, right? So let's wait. So we're waiting for almost three minutes now and still payment is yet to be verified, right? And my fear is that I don't know if there's a way we can, you know, just like before that I can check the status of the payment, if it is verified or approved or something, you know, then you can check the status of payment. I don't want to close this page or refresh it so I will not have that issue that I will have to pay again for this same process again, right? So let's just be patient with it. 
So this almost um, it's already eight minutes now. I might have to refresh without any choice. All right, I the reason why I'm taking my time to go through this is because I know you might also go through this kind of issue. So let's refresh and see what's going to happen because I don't know why the payment is taking too long. It's already over almost 10, 10 minutes now on that and the payment is not going through. So let's see. I'll refresh the page now. Let's let's look at it together. So and that's why I wo love walkthrough videos. They are just straight on point. The challenges I'm facing, you also face or you might also face. And when you face them, when I'm able to overcome the challenges, you will also be able to overcome the challenges, right? So let's refresh and see what's going to happen. So imagine, look at where it brought me back to, right? It brought me back here. But since we already uh, placed the name on reservation, let's come back to not submitted. So let's see if there's a way we can query the payment that we just attempted to make now that didn't go through, right? So my network is very fine. I don't have issue with my network. So I'm sure that the issue is from, you can see it here. Let's see, proceed to payment. We are not proceeding to payment. Let's look at not submitted and see if there's anything we can do to query it. Okay, it's currently open. You can see it's asking us to proceed to payment. Meanwhile, we've paid already and I've been debited actually. Let's look at the payment. Let's get the payment information and see what's going to Okay, payment been received. Okay, this is very good. Currently pending. You can now, you can try this action again in few hours, right? Okay, let's see if it is currently pending approval. It's not here. It has not moved to pending. Uh, let's click on the action again. Let's proceed to payment and see what's going to happen. Okay, you can try this action again in few hours to get your availability code. Okay, maybe because the payment did not go through successfully at the first time, that's why it's taking this long. But I'm going to refresh the page and see what's going to happen. So I've waited for about um, how many minutes is this? 14 minutes. So I'm going to log out of the account, log back in, and see if there's any changes because it is still impending. We're waiting for the approval for you to at least go to pending application at the minimum right so right now i'm going to stop this video because we have um, checked the part proceed to payment still it's yet to move to uh, pending no availability code have been sent said in few hours so i'll ask one of my staff to be checking and then this time i will keep reading so we're going to confirm right now we have spent 20 minutes and the name availability is just to drop right so we're going to wait for that to happen and then I'm going to update the time and then we'll still be able to keep track of the whole thing, right? Uh, so I'll combine this video with the next one I'm making to complete the process. We need to know the exact time we're going to spend on this registration. 34 minutes after. Wow. 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, I'm checking. Still not submitted and still not moved to pending. So right guys, after waiting for about two hours, we still don't have any response on the name we're trying to reserve, right? So if we check the non uh, the non submitted, and I noticed, in fact, within my wait uh, time, someone actually reached out to me to confirm with me that they had the same issue that they have not been able to uh, move their payment. This one now is before the upgrade. The payment has been made before the upgrade but it didn't move to pending approval and we all know what happens if your registration does not move from pending from not submitted to pending approval it means that you have not actually paid for it because the payment is yet to be confirmed even though right now it's telling us that the payment has been confirmed but we still we know what we are expecting or what we want to achieve but meanwhile that's not going to, that's not going to stop us to you know complete this video i have a reservation that just came through as well so we'll be using that to complete this video on the registration um part for the business name right so i'm going to do that right away okay let me wait for this to load up okay so um let's check the approved applications um the application we want to register right now is so because of the details i will not be showing you all the part of details i'll just be sharing with you where it's necessary right for you to see from the video so um i've been able to so this name has been approved this first name abundant hands that name we want to approve in this video uh we all we need to do is click on these actions and then we'll click on go to business registration so it will load up and show us 
the different details we need to impute, the nature of the business. You can see that the nature of business is not active. Someone actually reached out to me complaining about this, that they cannot put the nature of business. And you know, that is a major issue. Imagine you cannot specify the nature of business you are doing. Wow, that is a major issue. So um, let, I'll fill in the details. So you need to supply your email address, your company street address, your company city, your look state, your residence address, and your business commencement date. Don't make mistakes with your com business commencement date. Use the date of the registration. The day you are kind of registration, the day you choose. Once you click, you are done with that. Click on save and continue. But since the nature of business is not compulsory, that is the nature of business rather, is not compulsory and it's optional, we have to just you know leave that option and then come back click on save and continue come back here fill the proprietor's son name the first name the other names the phone numbers the uh, proprietor's gender put it there uh, male or female the date of birth of the proprietor the state that the proprietor is staying the local government the city the street number and the proprietor service address once you do that you click on add proprietor once you add the proprietor then you can now click on save and continue so let me do that and then we'll continue in the video all right so since i've been able to fill in the details of the proprietor now some of the th things i noticed from the detail of the proprietor is that you can no longer you don't need to request for email address of the proprietor again because it's no longer a request for that again and you need to tell your your customers to send you correct details of their address very important for this so now the, we only we are going to be selecting the director's name the proprietor's name and then the means of identification for that particular director and this looks more um, you know advanced than we used to have before for this for instance this particular director I'm using okay I'll walk you through the let me prepare the document for the upload and then I'll walk you through how the i'll be doing the upload since the upload is not going to reveal any personal details all right so let's start the upload of the document so for the means of identity card i want to upload an international passport and then i'll click on choose file to go and upload uh, select the file wherever it is so let's locate the file very quickly i don't know if you can see my screen um, okay file is not showing up yet so I notice also you don't need to convert your images to PDF as well that means your ID card doesn't have to come in PDF it can come in image format so let me select my ID card quickly so I've selected my ID card so let me select my um, passport as well the passport photograph I selected my passport photograph and finally let me select my the signature of the client so I've selected that as well so once I select the name of the proprietor I will add proprietors document for this particular proprietor so if i have multiple proprietors i'll just click click on add add proprietor uh, document one after the other just the way i added the proprietor information one after the other so i'll do that very quickly now so right now i have the details of um or the i've uploaded the document of the only and one proprietor i have so if imagine if i had multiple proprietor i'll just come here and select the proprietor as well add their details and add proprietor it and it will show up down here right so all i need to do here is just click on save and continue to complete the whole process which is going to be preview after i preview and then i can make payment so since I've, i'm done with that i can proceed to make payment of ten thousand dollars for registration and then i'm told that the registration is going to come through 100 percent in time right so i believe you understand the walkthrough so i'm going to stop the video right now because i need to make the payment i'm making the payment later on but i believe i've been able to guide you but summarily i've been able to spend i don't know if i'm still keeping track of the time i've spent over how many hours now over two hours on this video alone just trying to make sure i could serve you guys so all you can do to reward me is just give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and make sure you always click on the notification bell so that i can see more videos like this later on my name is Agumbola Ezekiel and i'll see you in the next one thank you and peace out